मैं एक मोड़ आया मैं उत... Before we start this video, we want to say a big thank you to Bridgestone India. Bridgestone has been one of the biggest tyre manufacturers in the world and they've had their hands in almost all types of motorsport. Everything from Formula 1 to Pikes Peak Hill Climb Racers. We are proud to say that Bridgestone India has been a keen sponsor in this year's Valley Run project that we're doing. They have given us amazing back-end support but apart from the back-end support, they create some amazing tyres. We highly recommend their B series of tires if you're looking for something like a reasonably priced tire but it's also very durable and has good amounts of grip. And if you're a car enthusiast, we highly recommend you to check out the Turanza and Potenza lineup of tires which are proper proper enthusiast tires. So if you're looking for some new tires, do check out Bristol India. Yep, we're back at the workshop and it's our favorite time of the year. It's road to valley run time and this is our first entry. This is a Hyundai Verna 1.6 diesel and uh, today is the first episode so we are going to be doing some maintenance work and we are going to be reading the ECU. Stay tuned and let's go! As the mechanics outside were getting all of the parts out of the car to clean them, Niranjan removed the ECU of the car quite literally and brought it into his office since the ECU of the Verna was locked and it had to be unlocked before we could flash a stage 2 tune on it. So you've seen us do reflashes in the past and it usually seems to be quite seamless. Uh, we sit down in the driver's seat, Niranjan sits. Uh, he connects the computer to the OBD port or a K-Tag to the OBD port and it's quite easy. However, a peculiar thing about the Verna is that we need to take the ECU out and connect it to the laptop or connect it to the K-Tag separately. And then we are possible to read the file and reflash the file. Once the ECU was unlocked, we fitted the ECU back in place. We started the mechanical side of work, like removing the bumpers, intercoolers, etc. Okay, so we have done our reading of the ECU and we've put it back in the hood. Now we're going to be doing an EGR cleanup, which is everything post the turbo till the valves, which is the intercooler, the turbo inlet and the EGR, which is the exhaust gas recirculation system. So we are going to be lifting everything out. As you can see, the bumper is out, taking everything out, cleaning it up. What we're going to be doing is removing all the dirty oil from the intercooler so that all of that lost performance that comes with the clogged intercooler is not there anymore. So the car is going to get back to its best in stock. Okay, so this is the intercooler of the Verna and as I was saying, the bottom gets really gunky. So that actually drops the performance to quite a bit and it's not noticeable because it happens very gradually. But uh, once we clean this up, we are expecting to, ha to have a little bit more performance and at least a little bit more refinement coming out of the engine. We soak the intercooler, EGR and the turbo pipes in diesel and let them sit overnight. So we left for the day and returned the next day to continue building a drag race winning car. 
Okay, welcome back to another day, and we are right here with this really dirty bucket. This is all of the turbo inlet pipes and uh, the intercooler with some other hoses that have been uh, drenched in diesel for us to remove all of the sticky oil. But uh, this is still not done yet. We need to pressure wash it, remove all of the gunk, and then put them back. Uh, it has been the next day because it just takes such a long while for the diesel to work. But uh, on to the next job. As I said, we had to pressure wash all of the parts. So we went ahead and cleaned them with water to remove any of the excess diesel or dirty oil from the parts. Welcome to day 2, I'm pretty sure it's the same episode but we have the EGR out finally and we have it cleaned. What uh, I'm going to do right now is explain to you what does this exactly do. This holds up here and this pipe uh, is the exact outlet of the turbo. So what it does is uh, take in dirty air from right here where I am and it will recirculate this back into the turbo. Uh, how that happens is with this little metal solenoid over here that opens and closes the package, uh, the passage through an electrical signal. And now that it's all cleaned up, as I'm pretty sure you, you guys have seen how dirty it was. Now that it's all cleaned up, we expect it to perform a little better. So let's get it fitted inside. But before we fitted anything into the car, we decided to remove the intake manifold of the car too and give that a nice bath as well. It's around lunch time, everyone has gone for lunch and we are still here cleaning up parts as you can see. The intake manifold is also out. This is where, this is what basically uh, the engine uses to breathe. This is where all the air goes in and uh, into the engine. We have removed that as well and as you can see the engine is now pretty bare and the hood is also quite empty. That's because most of the big parts are out here and that's uh, <coughs> most of what holds uh, the left side of the engine, which is uh, intercooler, some pipes, the battery. It's a tedious task. It is not labor intensive, but it just takes so long. So we are just sitting here quite bored, doing nothing as of now until the boys come back for lunch. And then we will be fitting all of this back. Three hours later. So it's almost closing hours here at Auto Desir. As you can see, we are almost done with removing the exhaust manifold and downpipe. As I said, the downpipe will go to IES Performance and Amir is going to make a downpipe for us. Send it back and uh, once we refit all the parts, we will reflash the ECU and uh, the car will be strip ready. Please do share this with your friends that own a Verna. Uh, uh, Please do share it with all your Verna owner friends. Maybe they can get a uh, stage two like this. and. Uh, please do share it with all your other friends, like the video and turn on your post notifications so you never miss out any of the good stuff from the Drivers Hub. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys.